Hey, so today we're just going to talk about uh, making a Terps bath. Now, Terps baths are really quite useful because they make it a lot easier to, to wash up your brushes. Uh, when you're working in oil paint and you need to do a um, turpentine um, cleanup. Terps is a fairly dangerous chemical and you need to control it mostly in two ways. Uh, wearing gloves so it doesn't uh, have contact with your skin uh, when you're dealing with it uh, and uh, controlling the fumes. And a Terps bath is one way to control the fumes uh, so you can have something convenient in your studio to clean your brushes put a lid on it and still remain safe. This, uh, I initially wanted to get a smaller jar, uh, but um, it's uh, proved a little bit problematic, so I just got a really big jar. But if you can get a jar which is slightly smaller than that, um, you'll find that you won't have to put as much turps in it to get it functional. It's just a large jar with a tin of tuna, some fly wire and a piece of wire. I'll uh, show you how to make the tuna this part in the next section. Okay, so once we've um, gotten rid of the stuff, tuna from the um, thing, you need to get some fly wire. Right? Now, now I would suggest rather than getting metal fly wire, I would get the acrylic stuff. It's pretty cheap. Um, just stick it over like that. So it's just enough that it's going to cover it. You can just um, get this fly wire from Bunnings or any sort of hardware shop, mostly. So there we go. And this is just some wire. happens to be some sort of welding wire that I found on the side of the road. It's pretty soft, but any sort of wire will do that's not too thick. <clears throat> I wouldn't use anything thick, thicker than this. It's about as really as thick as you want to go. Probably a little bit thinner is better. And we just get it around the rim like that. Get our pliers in there. And just twist it pretty tight. Try and make sure that that's put it up against the lip ok, I'll just pull this fly wire so it's tight a few more twistings, ok So we've got it like that. Just trim around it. Like that. And that's going to be the platform on which the brushes will wash your brushes. So this is just a demonstration of um, how you set it up. I'm just going to use water. Um, give you an idea. See, we just basically fill it up with terps to the top of this layer here. And say we've got a brush a bit of paint on it you just use that as a platform 
right? Normally it's Turks. Of course, this is the advantage of having a slightly smaller jar because it, the um, this uh, platform doesn't move around as much. So there you go, and then you could just clean it off with a tap or uh, a rag later on. So. Uh, just a health and safety tip, uh, if you've got rags, and invariably you will have rags with turpentine on them in the studio when you clean brushes, you need to uh, put the rags outside of the studio where they can evaporate or in a sealed bag or in a sealed container and then um, and eventually at some stage you uh, put, hang them out on the line to, so they can evaporate off so that those fumes are not in the studio because rags give off a lot of fumes. Um, and they're potentially quite hazardous. Of course when you're cleaning brushes you can use one of these which is a mask, chemical grade mask. Uh, and they fit quite nicely around you. They have to have the chemical grade filters in them um, but they all, almost all come with chemical grade filters on them. Uh, and when you're doing um, washing a lot of brushes uh, where you are exposed then it's a good idea to be wearing one of these